Hi everyone. Now in this video, I'm going to show you my sewing machine collection. This might be kind of a short video because I don't have too many. And yeah, so let's just get into it. So I guess we'll start out with the least impressive first. Um, I think I pulled this one out of a junk pile. It's a Viking sewing machine. I'd imagine it's non-functioning. I've never tried it, but it appears to be broken in some way or another. Now this one here is an Imperial sewing machine. Um, it's electric, it's got the foot pedal, and what do they do with the lid? There's the lid. Um, I tried selling it. Um, nobody bought it though. Um, it's got a light on it. I think I tried it out once, so it looks like my thread. Um, I can't remember whether it worked or not. Looks like it's got some stuff in the bottom there. Some bobbins and other stuff, but um, it's in good shape. I mean, it's nice and clean. Like I say, I can't remember if it works or not. I imagine it does because it looks like I was using it at one point. Um, I can't remember when I got this or where. I imagine it was just at a garage sale, probably for free. Um, so yeah. Now we'll move on to this one. This one I like a lot because it actually works. And I got this at a garage sale at the lake for free um, quite a few years ago probably over 10 years ago, 11, 12, 13 years ago. And um, this one is kind of what I learned to sew on um, besides in school, just kind of sewing in my free time. I made myself a vest on here that I actually wore um, when I was probably, I don't know, 11, 10, 11 years old. And it's a hand crank machine. It's got this aftermarket hand crank on. I imagine this would have been a treadle machine um, originally, but I think this is an aftermarket hand crank. I'm sure some of you will know um, better than I will, but it's got like where the belt would go on here. It's kind of dirty right now because it's been sitting out here. Um, and I found out from the serial number that this was made in 1936, I think. And it's one of the styles with the uh, shuttle bobbin, I think they call those. Um, like a long, just in case some of you aren't familiar with sewing, um, that's like a long bobbin. And it um, gets put into that case. I think that case is called the shuttle not a hundred percent sure but in modern sewing machines the bobbin is like round and short it's not long like that and then it's just got this I think homemade um, base for it just like plywood and stuff but yeah I thought that was a pretty good deal you can't go wrong for free especially on something like that it works it's a functioning machine. And yeah, I know when I had this cleaned up, it actually looked really nice. But yeah, that's probably one of my favorites. Now, this here was my second sewing machine. I got this as a Christmas gift from my parents back in the day. And what's cool about it is you just lift the lid up and it's got that chain that pulls it up into place. And this is a Canadian white brand. Um, I don't know much about it, but I did. I do remember using it. It looks like the bobbin fell out of there. Um, but what's kind of cool about this one is to wind the bobbin, this winder just flips back and it just engages on the belt there and then you wind the bobbin that way. Now I don't have enough room to actually flip it right up, but this front door opens here. And I think there, I don't know what's, I think that's the manual down there. And then that's a 
buttonhole kit, I think. And yeah, just some other trinkets and stuff in there. But this is a pretty cool machine. I like this one. Um, uh, I don't really want to sell it because I think it's kind of rare. Like I've never seen one before and I just kind of like it. So now my final sewing machine, it's a Singer uh, treadle with the case and everything still intact. This is functional. This is uh, my main sewing machine, what I use whenever I need to sew something. Um, I believe this one is from the 1930s, and I've got just this cover on it here. This came from the old hardware store in Carrobert. Um, before they demolished it, um, they just had their final opening day there, and um, they just said, you know, take whatever you want from the back, and that was back there, so I grabbed it. So this is the machine. Um, it's in fairly good shape, like a little bit of uh, rust and stuff, but other than that, pretty good. Um, like I say, it works um, pretty well, actually. And yeah, uh, the belt is probably in need of replacing sometime soon. Um, the case, the cabinet is pretty bad. Uh, it's delaminating here, the veneers. But, I mean, other than that, it works. Like, I've got a buttonhole or attachment back there. And, you know, other than that, it's a functional machine. So, I kind of want one of the older ones with the fancier uh, metal work. But that, that's something I'll look into in the future. Well, I hope you enjoyed my sewing machine collection. Um, I know I don't have very many, but I'll probably get some more in the future. So thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. And stay healthy, everyone.